All right, so let's say I happen to be an NFL fan. I want to play wide receiver. Uh, I'm not obviously going to do that in real life. Can I do that in unity life? Can I be out there with the other players and you can't tell that I'm not real? Well, there's about 10 questions wrapped up into that. <laughs> so first off, there's video games, you know, from companies like Electronic Arts where you can play Madden and you can be, you know, part of the game. But if you, you want to, let me, let me pull this back for a second. A traditional movie is made primarily with a camera and then special effects are brought in after. You know, in the future, you're going to use tools like Unity and tools like the weather tools we brought, where it's virtual production, where the entire environment is created inside of a computer. And what you're doing is essentially using green screen to put somebody's face or somebody's body inside of that environment. And, you know, movies like Spielberg produced with, with Ready Player One were done just that way. So as we invert the model where the computer becomes the primary, um, if you will, framework for the, the structuring of a new film or the structuring of a new, de new design, um, yes, you can be inside of that world um, and you can inhabit any body you want. Now, a lot of technology goes in, into that. And when people talk about, and I, and I think the term's a little overused with the metaverse, but what they're really talking about is the things that we experience online or on the internet they become 3D, they become interactive, they feel real, like you're there. Right. You, you, you've moved to another place. An early terminology that, the early term I, I, I heard a lot for this was presence, the sense, you're, the sense that you're in a right. different place. And it is a, an astonishing change. Um, it's amazing for education, you know, what you can right. teach people when they can feel what they're doing versus just feeling like there's a teacher at the end of the classroom talking to them. They're, they're actually interacting with it. Um, you learn a lot more. So there's so much power that's going to be unleashed from doing these things. And tools that, that we're bringing to, the, to everyone now, the, the web and tool right. chain and the many tools behind it will be such an enabler to artists across that literally any industry. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.